Hi there everyone, this is Harrison from Pinnacle West and today we're taking a look at the Fusion FX. In particular, we're looking at mixing chamber. So very quickly, I'm going to show you how you switch out the mixing chamber and then we'll talk a little bit about why I did things the way that I did. So let's change out this mixing chamber. I'm just going to go through here again, I'll explain everything after I've done this just to show you how quick all of this can be. Stop the timer. That is how we switch out the mixing chamber on the Fusion FX. Much quicker and much easier than it is on the AP or PC. And what that translates to is less time in between changing out your mixing chamber and allows you to get more efficiency in that for, let's say for example, if you're spraying a big open cavity, you could use a 52 or something like that to get a ton of foam through. And then let's say if you're doing a box end or a rim joist or something like that, and you want a little bit less throughput, you can switch out to a smaller mixing chamber like a 42, and this is just so much faster to do so, which kind of makes it, you're more likely to actually go ahead and change out your mixing chambers. Now let's talk a little bit about why I did things the way that I did. So first off, you'll see that I use my 5 16th driver here to loosen this, and that's because you must fully tighten with tool to seal. So I'm gonna walk you through, let's go through this again and show you because as you saw when I took this off our mixing chamber is attached to the air cap so we'll talk a, bit, a little bit of the tool here in a second but something I want to note is that attached the air cap which makes it nice and easy to access it I don't have to think about apart anything on the gun other than this but then you'll notice that I actually when I took this off I went righty loosey which is strange typically you'd be righty tidy but that's because they have reverse threaded this. And the intention there is that when I took this off, I went lefty loosey and you could just imagine this would get caught and this would come off. I'd drop it on the job site and we re really wouldn't want that. We want to keep our mixing chambers for as long as possible. So let's change over another mixing chamber. I have this, then I put it in lefty tidy. So again, a bit strange, but there's a reason why they've done it that way. My mixing chamber is in once it's kind of free floating like that. And then let's talk a little bit about how this gets put in and why it gets put in that way. So you'll notice that it has this little piece here at the top. And this is intended to help you line this mixing chamber up. Because if we look inside here, we have these ports, a little black port on either side there. And that meets up with our impingement ports here. And that allows chemical to flow through in. I'll be a bit reductive, but it flows in and through into the gun, either side, A and B coming in, mixing it through and going out the end of the gun. This here is intended to help you line that up. So when I put this in, you can imagine when I put this in, now I've got it lined up and this is going to mix properly, right? Now, again, I used my ball driver to tighten and loosen it. And that's because this seal at the back here, or I should say this blue thing back here is a seal and it seals right at the back of the gun back there, it forms a nice tight seal. So we don't have any uh, chemical leakage, which would result in a crossover, which we definitely don't want. So that's a good design right there. And in fact, to help you get more life out of your mixing chambers, Graco, when you buy an FX, give you 10 of these seals. So you can very easily cut this off and put a new one on to get more life out of your mixing chambers. Now, let's talk a little bit about the mixing chambers in comparison to what you may see on, or what you will see on an AP. This is our air purge mixing chamber. On an FX, our PC, this is our PC mixing chamber. And then show you again on the FX. So I think this probably goes without saying that this mixing chamber is much smaller than the ones here, but really they aren't too different. I'm gonna put these together in a very specific way, just like so. 
And what I've done here is I've lined up our impingement ports. We talked about how chemical comes in here, goes through and gets mixed. And you can see that the overall mixing length between a PC or an AP, or a PC, AP, and FX are really pretty much exactly the same. So our chemical comes in here, gets mixed through and shot out the end of the gun. So our mixing length is the same, but we're not using nearly as much metal as we are on the FX, which makes this a good bit cheaper as compared to these. And I can also service these with that blue, with that blue seal on there. So same mixing length between them, but much less material used overall to make this chamber. So really, really nice, much smaller, fantastic. Now, another thing with mixing chambers as it pertains to the FX is your selection of the mixing chamber. So FX, brand new gun from Graco, culmination of many years of work on improving the gun. One of the many improvements they've made is on the pressure drop throughout the gun. This gun features much less pressure drop as compared to the AP or PC, which results in a greater throughput throughout the gun. What does that mean? That means that my mixing chamber selection is going to change because essentially I have more pressure going through this. More pressure means more throughput. So essentially you will have to go very roughly one size up to what you're used to. So if you are using, let's say a 37, you'll actually have to go up to a 42. 42 becomes a 47, a 47 becomes a 52, so on and so forth. But overall, that just means that this gun is a lot more efficient than the PC or the AP were. So I think that says everything about the FX with the exception of drill bits. Let's bring these back. So of course you have drill bits, which you use on the PC or AP mixing chambers to drill out your mixing chamber, as well as to drill out the impingement ports. Now you might think, man, I've got, you know, six packs of 47 drill bits. I can use those on my FX. Unfortunately you can't. And that's because the FX uses slightly different sizes for its ports. So those previous drill bits are incompatible. So what Graco have done is the drill bits for the FX are painted blue. And that's just to help you differentiate between them. So that's the one for our mixing port. This is the one for our impingement port. They're going to vary, of course, uh, from chamber to chamber, but they've colored these blue so that you don't mix them up with your AP or PC ones and potentially cause damage or, or just not get the proper amount of drilling that your mixing chamber requires. Of course, it's very important to drill out your mixing chamber as you're spraying. So those are our mixing chambers, drill bits, all that good stuff. And you can see, as you mentioned earlier, it is just so easy to change out your mixing chamber. I think you're going to see a lot more people changing out mixing chambers on a job to job basis. And the FX is just a fantastic gun. Feel free to like, subscribe, comment to this video. If you have any questions, please let us know. This has been the Fusion FX. We're going to have a lot more content coming up on this one. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.